Hoo-wee, what's going on, YouTube? It's Donnie B all day. Guys, ooh, we have got a good one to do today. We're going to go outside and have some fun with the Highlander's Companion. I believe that's what it's called. I, be, I do believe. I got just a couple things we're going to go over. Um, so if you watched my video this morning, D-Bad Throwing Steel, you will see that I was throwing some stars and some knives given to me by Arizona Bladesman. Um, this is also one of those things that he sent. This is something that I drew up for him that he asked for. He gave me some, he gave me some, uh, some pencil sketches that were, you know, kind of rough of this is kind of what I want. So I said, all right, I'm going to draw it to scale. I'm going to do it all up. I'm going to make it right. I'm going to put all the stats and we're going to send it in. But I wanted to get just to a couple things um, before we get started. And one is um, Jed Hornbeak. We have been collecting for him um, because, as everybody knows by now, his wife had passed to a severe stroke and it happened just immediately and it was just the most heartbreaking thing. I mean, the guy's got four kids. His oldest is only 11. His youngest, I think, is around three or four. So, I mean, four kids between those ages and, um, you know, he's, he's, he's broken, right? I mean, the whole family is torn. So I talked to him, uh, yesterday or the day before yesterday, uh, he got a hold of me and, you know, he wanted to thank everybody personally. Um, it's just right now, everything obviously is crazy. And he confided in me something that I'm going to share with you guys, um, where I really appreciate, I mean, really appreciate, and so does he, all the donations. And there is a great reason to donate. Um, they didn't have insurance. So all of the medical bills and the funeral bills um, for Brittany, for uh, Jed Hornbeek's wife, um, is coming out of pocket. And as you would guess, that is um, pretty tough. It's pretty tough to get slammed to that. So I'm going to show you, this is what, you know, this is the page, obviously, the, the GoFundMe. But that's how much we have received in donations so far. I got an email today. Let me see if I can find it. That they're going to send me the first check. And so you understand why the amount is. They take out a percentage. So you can see what they're sending right there. I want everybody to know that I'm not taking anything from this. This isn't something where, okay, I'm, I'm getting a piece of the pie. No, every single cent we raise is going straight to Jed. So, so far, $1,151.49 is being sent. As I get, um, it's gonna, it says it takes two to five business days before they send me anything. As I get money in, I'm gonna send it directly to him. So if they, if we can continue, if you guys can just share the GoFundMe post um, or the GoFundMe page, and I'll put the link down below. Um, if you can share that, I mean, the more people see it, the better. If we can keep on going and and get to a higher amount, guys, that would be great. Next on the um, on the tap here, I was talking to Scab earlier today. We were texting from Choir Boys Cutlery, and man, this bu I, I've been just this is so soft. This buffalo hide, water buffalo skin here, um, it's so soft. So um. I was talking to Scab, and he was talking about um, Joe from uh, Steel Forged and Fire Sword and Knife. And let me show you this page. That's Joe's page, right? Steel, uh, Steel Forged and Fire Sword and Knife. Um, Scab is doing away a giveaway, and he's doing away. Uh, he's doing away. He's giving away some things. I think he's doing two giveaways on this. And he said basically. He has one giveaway if they reach 400 subs for Joe's page. Right now he's at 395. And if they reach 450, um, then he is doing another giveaway. Um, so there's two chances of giveaways. And all you have to do, well, you can go to Scab's, Scab's video and, and watch and he'll tell you. But you have to subscribe um, to there and then go see Scab. And I mean... I'm not going to divulge any information, but I mean, this guy, he's almost at 400 now, so he's getting closer to 500, so who knows? There might be another giveaway coming up in regards to that guy's channel, so you might want to get over there and sub, 
because the only way you're going to win, just in case, there's another giveaway um, at 500. You might want to um, go over there and sub and keep yourself prepared. <laughs> so let's keep the community together. Let's get on to this blade because that's what you guys are actually here for. I have all the stats written up there. Why do I have the stats? Because I'm the one that drew the blade. All right, so um, I'm going to go straight off my um, my drawing that I did for it for the stats for this knife. We're going to start before I even get into it. <laughs> We're going to start with the sheath. Um, classic Kukri style sheath, water buffalo skin over wood, and it is so incredibly soft. This thing, I could rest my head on it and go to sleep on this thing. does have a leg tie, does have a buckle. Um, it, you can just see how they sew it together. They do a pinch and then they sew it together. It's so nice. Um, the frog is removable if you wanted. Um, I don't see why you'd want to. It is just awesome like this. This is a great sheath. So, the blade itself. Woo wee And I think it's called the Highlander's Companion. All right, is what Arizona Bladesman's calling it. We're just going to, for the sake of this video, we're just going to put D-Bad Dirk. All right, so, because it's a Dirk. And Highlander's Companion because it's Scottish. Highlander. All right, so now that we're all there, this is 7 millimeters thick, true full tank construction, 5160 steel. You know I love that. Um, 13 inches long with a five and three quarter inch rosewood handle, steel pins with steel guard and pommel. Um, the steel guard is welded on. This is part of the knife. Um, uh, decorative fullers, uh, with quarter length, um, spine file work. You can see what I did there. Um, Full tang, blah, 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 black leather sheath designed by D-Bad. All right, so uh, this thing is a freaking beast. This is a freaking beast. Um, I mean, 13-inch long blade. I think that's all the stuff that I have to catch up on, too, so we can get straight into this freaking blade. Um, I'm not going to lie. I did a great job designing it. Um and Arizona Blademan did a phenomenal job of knowing what he wanted. He basically said, you know, I want this design pattern. And he showed me what he wanted for a pattern. And for me, it just came down to drawing it to scale, getting all the statistics right, refining all the curves, making it even, um, and then making this pattern work. He knew in his head how he wanted it, but it had to work. So this is how it works. It has a great hammer end. Um... This thing is thick and nasty. Oh my goodness. This is a badass Dirk. This is something that I might have to do a slight redesign on. Maybe just change up the handle a little bit and redo this um, as a for sale blade at the Kukri house once all the Rambo stuff is done. Um, I think this would be a good one to put out. This is an actual short sword. And it is freaking every bit of that. Holy crap. So, um, and oh, the reason, the reason I say I'm, I might have to do a redesign of the handle, I want to make sure that this is a one-off for Arizona Bladesman. Um, I'm not going to redesign his design um, for other people. This is going to be him, him, and purely him. Um if you want to contact Arizona Bladesman and say, I really like this one, ask him to send you the photo of the drawing and you can take that and send it to Kukri House and they can make you one. But that is not my place to do, so I cannot do that for you. Um, but Arizona Bladesman's a good guy. If you really wanted one, he'd be like, hell yeah. Um, so that's why I would redesign something because I'd have to make it, you know not a knockoff of his piece because it's his. All right, so now that y'all understand what the hell's going on with that, if you don't understand, it's because I don't know how to speak proper English. So let's go out and, oh my God, let's tear this through stuff. Come on. So I am just walking with this thing in my hand and just, I mean, it's a heavy piece. It's, it's a sword. Just walking with this in your hand, you feel like you get that, yeah, come on, man. Somebody come and mess with me. It's just, you get that feeling just walking with this 
darn thing. So um, I am just enjoying getting ready to set up. And uh, man, man, this is one of those ones you just get excited about. As soon as it hits your hand, I just dropped it there and it just buried itself an inch and a half in. All right, so um, I don't know how much use he's put into it. I can see that it looks like he's giving it a, a, a whirl. Um, the edge on this is really nice looking, but uh, I don't know if he's done. I haven't touched it up. I haven't honed it. I haven't done anything. I'm going to use it as scent. Man, that thing is gnarly. All right, so... Uh, Let's see if we can't do a push cut on the half inch nylon rope. And it takes a sawing, but it, oh crap, and I just moved it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I moved it and then half of them fell off and half of them went down. So it is a used edge. So it's not as crazy sharp as it was coming out of the box, I'm sure. Um, or out of the packaging, I should say. Although they probably wrapped it in a box, but you can see, man, this thing is nasty. All right, let's see, let's see though, let's see. So now, the edge geometry, because it's so, oh my gosh, it's so big and thick, You, it's probably at like a 25 or a 30, it looks like a convex grind on there. So the angle, you're not pushing your blade low like this, you're picking it up. Um, but look at what it's doing. Look at what it's doing. Is it still gonna be able to carry tasks like that yeah yeah you just have to find oh my god you just have to find your edge angle look at how perfect these are um find your edge angle and then work it i'm gonna try to keep some of them on there so it's, it's so massive and nasty all these little curls and i'm gonna show you that this is no joke all these little curls are just falling off but luckily they're falling off right here so if you're looking to to get a fire going and you need stuff like this it's all gonna fall right right there and it's going to work now remember this is something that you pull out I mean talk about home defense this is nasty this is one of those if a bear comes out you remember there has been three times so far in spoken written history where a Kodiak bear, a black bear, and a grizzly bear have all been taken out with a knife. And two of them have been with the Buck 110 pocket knife. That's a four inch blade. Um, this thing, if, if you can't defend yourself with this thing, you pick the wrong bear. But I'll tell you, I wouldn't want to mess around with any bear. But what I'm saying is, if, if you get attacked by a bear and you have a big blade, that's a, a lot better chance of living than if you have no blade at all, I'll tell you that. So let's uh, let's see if we can't come down on this. It's so big and so heavy, I feel like if I go to chop a tip, because this is not what it's made for, that um, it's just going to end up breaking off. I mean, the heft. I, I, I can show you and I can explain it, but I, I can't explain it. The heft of this blade, it comes down with such ferocious striking power even just tapping that it's hard to be delicate man this is a uh, I'll tell you you could even if you do cosplay I bet you could order one of these from Cooper house without an edge on it and just impress people oh my gosh it, it's just massive it's massive and it's awesome now it is not a carver but it is carving. This is more of a, if that's somebody's arm bone or leg bone, that's what this is. That's exactly what this is. Um, it is a tear you upper. And this thing will tear you up without a doubt. It will, oh man, get stuck in there. This thing is a freaking beast. Here we go. Oh my goodness all knots at the bottom this thing doesn't care this thing doesn't care it even has like a look at this this is great for you perverts it, it makes peepholes oh yeah how great is that hey what are you doing in that shower all right porky's revenge here we go gosh okay let's hit those oh i don't have to hit the knots it just split right through them 
Holy Moses, it even took on a, a little a little uh, bring along. And here we go. More knots, more I don't care. This thing is awesome. It is awesome. It's nasty. It's a beast. Holy Moses. Oh, look at how much. I don't need, I mean, I'm throwing it pretty hard. And it's just, but it looks slow. Holy crap. Let's do some four foot drops. We will look at the immaculate balance. Boop. Oh, it's hard getting out of there because it's so heavy. It's just lunging itself inside of there. But when I bring out a blade this big, hey, Bigs, be up in the yard. Hey, when I bring out a blade this big, you guys don't come to watch it do some piddly ass stuff. I'm walking in mole tracks, man. The moles out here leave these burrowing tracks and you step down. It feels like it feels like a mini quicksand. All right, what, what, does that even think, like sense anywhere? All right, so let's come over here and let's do some chopping. Let's do some chopping. Woo! All right. I got this thing just sitting here. Let's hit it where it stands. Ugh. You see the chunk. Ugh, this is ugh, battle. Battle ready. Ugh, battle made. Ugh. Yeah. 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 Battle ready. Battle made. You have got to be kidding me. Holy crap. This thing is nasty. Whoo! That's a big piece right there. It was no contest. And of course, 5160, 100% properly heat treated from the Kukri house in Nepal. That means this edge is freaking sweet. Um, that right there in old war, in old battles, that right there is how you get it done. Holy crap. Um, this thing is just nasty. I wonder if we could spear throw it. I wonder. <laughs> First try, Mama Shredder. Shredder to Shred Man. Look at that. Oh, it's just, it's just a beast. It's a beast. Let's hit some of this. Let's hit some of this unhit virgin wood. Ugh. Uh, uh. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Lean moly. Guys, this dirk is sweet. If you're looking for a custom piece to have done, the Kukri House in Nepal. Holy Chris Zap. That's what I'm talking about. I mean just nasty. What's that, a trash barrel? It <laughs> just absolutely tore a gigantic hole in that trash barrel. Oh. Woo! Hey, hey, dogs. Damn dogs. Damn dogs. Man. All right, so what I can say is that this piece right here, this piece is nothing but gnarly. Nothing but gnarly. Look at this, man, just taking pieces off. Taking pieces off on these low hangers. On these low hangers. <laughs> yeah, Roscoe climbing in the fire pit. Hey, get out of there. These guys, they just, all they want to do is whatever they're not supposed to. That's all they want to do. Whew. Gosh, I have to say that I am absolutely in love with this dirk this is probably the best dirk i have ever put in my hands it is literally that good and as you know i'm a blade guy i have been around a lot of blades um look at the balance on this thing and i have to say that of all the medieval stuff i've done like you know going to different places and seeing different things and putting different blades in hand. This is the sweetest 
Scottish dirt I have ever held in my life. This is nice. This is freaking nice. Um, man, so now the hard part comes. I have to send it back to him. I have to send it back to Arizona Bladesman. I don't want to. I want this one. I want to keep it. But I can't. I got to let it go. I got I to gotta let it go. I got to let it go. And I don't want to. This is awesome. Guys, um, if you want one, write Arizona Bladesman. Go to his channel. Subscribe to his channel. And say, hey, can you please send me what I need to send the Kukri house to have one of these made? Oh, man. He might just say okay because he's that good of a dude he really is um wow this thing is impressive this thing is i went and did triceps today i just did biceps right now whoo we man this is i don't want to put it down i just don't i just don't want to put it down i just want to keep on playing with it Ugh. um wow fan fan freaking tastic so that's it for this one we're gonna, it's the Highlander's Companion. Um, we're just gonna call it the D-Bad Dirk in the, uh, and down below, so everybody gets an idea of what they're looking at. <whistles> wow. Wow we I want one. I freaking want one. So, you think I want one? I want one. I am Donnie B all day. Until next night.